Hello, Zinish Cry. Welcome back to another episode of Xenonauts with the Xeno Xenophobia mod. As I left off, you know, basic research, doing stuff while I shoot down alien spaceships. Ah, I was doing this easy analysis. These pallid creatures are most dis uh, concerning in the flesh, Commander. They are a twisted mockery of our own species, resembling us so closely that one cannot help but feel a creeping sense of revulsion when you stare into their malevolent eyes <gasps> and now breath. In practical terms, the season is a superior approximation of a human soldier. They are highly intelligent and are accorded excellent situational awareness by their oversized eyes. Their manual dexterity and reflex speed is much the same as our own. They behave much like human military forces, engaging at long range and making good use of battlefield cover. Despite their frail physiology, their equipment makes them difficult to kill. Even the ubiquitous jumpsuit offers remarkable protection and is supplemented with additional protective gear at higher ranks. Scans have revealed that brain tissue of these creatures is unusually active, with samples taken during autopsy suggesting that it is extraordinarily rich in energy dense selenium nanoparticles. As we have already established that these creatures communicate via telepathy, this hints at further, as yet unknown, mental abilities. Finally, we have concluded the analysis by collecting all known vulnerabilities in season equipment, tactics, and physiology into a document for your soldier. The additional knowledge should increase the damage they inflict on these enemies by approximately 10%. That's why it's good to research those, because you get more damage. Okay, I'm researching a plasma rifle. I think I might go for more... all this alternate stuff. XNT Research Alien Spine Thrower. Maybe I'll do that. Selenium Heavy Weapons. Selenium Weapons. I could get advanced pistol tech. Uh, alternate pistols first. Proved alternate pistols. The research is now complete and we have managed to upgrade our alternate alternative pistols. Our ballistic weapons are still vastly inferior to the aliens, however with constant refinement we can make a difference. We have further reduced the size of our alternative pistol. This one is very small and as such there is no excuse for our Xenonauts not to carry an emergency secondary weapon. This one now has a slightly better range and can reload faster due to having clip-type ammunition, as opposed to the previous revolver-type offering. The micro-pistol will still never be as powerful or versatile as a standard pistol, however it's good enough to get a soldier out of trouble, if there is no alternative. Remember, this is a miniaturized weapon and therefore cannot hold many rounds. The high-powered pistol has been replaced with a semi-automatic mo semi model so that more rounds can be carried. The bullets are still very large, so the new offering still only carries 8 shots. The new setup also provides better armor penetration. Okay, that's nice. Uh, we have now d we have not done much with the automatic pistol as it seems to be handling quite well in the field. We have at least added on additional handle to the front so that the weapon can be braced against your other forearm, allowing slightly greater accuracy while still following, still allowing something to be held in the offhand. Finally, we have uh, sourced a fully automatic pistol. Although very inaccurate, this weapon causes great suppression due to its bullet spray. It makes smaller rounds. It takes uh, smaller rounds. The damage is slightly lower than the standard automatic pistol. Huh, that was fast. Alenium alternate pistols, alenium alternate shotguns, alenium alternate grenade launchers. Yeah, so it's good to get all these. Automatic pistol version 2. Improved alternate shotguns. The new shortened shotgun has improved accuracy, greater range, and is generally a better weapon all around. Therefore, we no longer... Pr uh, we are no longer producing a double barrel version. However, with this weapon's shorter aiming and firing of times, it's possible to take two shots at a time. The previous version could fire both barrels, so nothing is lost. Firing five shots before reload is a definitive, definite gain, and hence the main reason for the upgrade. Unfortunately, it still lost, lacks the range of the larger long barreled versions. Ah, that's probably this one. The new upgrade version of the large bore shotgun, which was formerly known as the elephant gun, now has mu has as much range as the standard shotgun. The new version has 4 inch shot clip to, e to help ease the constant reloads. This weapon uh, armor pe uh, mitigation would actually make it a superior weapon to the shotgun. However, this is a heavy weapon with a lot of recoil, so this weapon is only likely to prove effective if equipped with by a strong member of the team. Okay. We have not been able to dissuade some Xenonaut operatives away from the double barreled shotgun. Therefore, we have given it a revamp and converted it to military specifications. That looks amazing. It is now as effective as a standard shotgun, but carries less shots. However, the plus side is that both barrels can be fired once for greater accuracy and damage. No more research. Proof grenade launchers. 
ballistic large bore shotgun version 2, ballistic double barrel shotgun version 2, ballistic sawed off shotgun version 2. Nice. Improved grenade launcher. We have been looking at the grenade launcher as instructed and decided the best uh, place to uh, concentrate on was the projectile itself. We have added additional explosives to increase the area of effect. We also took the option to oust the heavy wooden stocked rifle version and replace it with a lighter version with a skeleton stock. We hope you are happy with the result. Uh, what's next? No. US UNSC weapons. Grenade launcher version 2, grenade pistol version 2. I'm never going to use those. Ah, alien plasma rifle. The alien plasma rifle is a two-handed alien infantry weapon approximately 30 inches in length and 3 kilometers and 3 kilograms in weight. <laughs> that was bad. It is a vastly more co <laughs> capable combat weapon than the alien plasma pistol, generating a plasma bolt that is significantly more powerful and cohesive than its smaller cousin. Without the space constraints of the plasma pistol, the aliens have mounted a more substantial generation generation array inside the weapons, uh, weapons barrel. This gives it a similar operational range to most ballistic assault rifles, but far higher damage and armor penetration potential. Laboratory tests suggest jackal combat armor may do just enough to allow the wearer to survive a direct hit, but unarmed, unarmored troops would likely be killed instantly. In instantly. Indeed, we believe this weapon is even a credible threat to our hunter armored cars. It would appear that the versatility of the alien plasma rifle makes it the default armament for alien combatants. It is powerful, light, accurate, and capable of burst fire. In short, vastly superior to anything we possess. Jackal armor? Proof combat armor. Yeah. Do that. Alien plasma rifle. Actually, uh... Yeah, I can't make any armor. Go to base. Okay. Now when I need to, I can transfer aircraft to here. Nice. Hmm. UNSC weapon research. That is a lot of weapons. Too bad it doesn't give me a description, but they look like all heavy weapons. That looks like a sniper rifle. I should definitely get that. Some pistols. Oh, wow. Uh, Magnum sidearm, submachine gun, assault rifle, shotgun, a marksman rifle, a heavy machine gun, rocket launcher, submachine gun, grenade launcher, light machine gun, battle rifle, sniper rifle, heavy machine gun, rail gun. Uh, this one. Seat ballistics. What did we get? Should be near the bottom, right? Or do they mix in? No, grenade launcher. Grenade launcher. It's all the shotguns, I think. Double one handed grenade launcher. Fully automatic ballistic pistol. Uh, range 9. Automatic ballistic pistol. High powered ballistic pistol. Snub nosed. The pistol that I'm using, what's the range on this? 16, not bad. Damage 40. Oh, this one. Damage 27. Not as much damage, but 60 suppression. Fire mode, 60 TUs. And this one. 32, 45, 63. I can do an aim shot for that much. Uh. Assault rifle, yeah. No, advanced. Ah, uh, here we go. One of those multi ammo rifle, multi ammo shotgun, multi ammo machine gun, multi ammo sniper rifle, personal defense turret mark one. Do I just put that down? I'm not quite sure. Ah, uh, magnum sidearm, 25 damage. 10 range. Blah blah blah. 40 and 60. It doesn't look that good. M7 submachine gun. 15 damage, 20 range. Let's damage more range. What else do we have? Grenade launcher. Nope. MA5D assault rifle. 
is an air-cooled gas-operated magazine-fed fully automatic bullpup rifle that fires 7.62.51 mm FMJ AP ammunition for 32-round detachable box magazine. This could be really nice. 45 shotgun. M32 marks. Wait, whatever. 392 marksman rifle. Heavy machine gun. To use 40%. Maybe I'll go for that. Rocket launcher, no. Submachine gun. Oh, that's pretty good accuracy. Pretty nice damage. <laughs> Light machine gun. Battle rifle. Sniper rifle. Range 40, 65, 115, 180. That is amazing. Heavy machine gun. Arc 920 railgun. Holy crap. How much damage does it do? Range 30. Penetrate ar heavy armor from their charge instead of them, making it comparable to a light recordless rocket launcher. Oh. Ammo, frag, alenium, plasma, fusion, hyper, AP, incendiary, stun, toxic, shock. 5 damage, 50 stun. Okay, that might be fun, but I think I need to make some of these. These are amazing. Wait, what happened to my one guy? I only have 7 here, personnel. Yeah, wounded two days. Okay, that's what happened. Uh, higher soldiers. I think I need more just in case. At least two more. Go for a health top and then bravery. 59 and 44 is pretty good. Oh, this is even better. Accuracy. Oh, we have better accuracy though. Higher soldiers. Oh, higher selected. Okay. What am I manufacturing? Nothing! How am I not making anything? Oh, I'm an idiot. It was when I finished. Ah, oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. Um. Let's see. Let's go for ballistic first. Some melee weapons, probably not. Grenades, ammo. Our piercing incendiary. Multi ammo sniper rifle. Standard. 60 damage, 15 stun. Range 25. How much does that cost? Ah. Uh, ah, uh, 40 and 66. Damage. This is a lot. I think I might just go for this one. The SRS 99 AM sniper rifle. Come on, go down. I want to. Okay. Yeah, Jackal Combat Armor. Finally, I get it. Jackal Combat Armor offers a soldier extra battlefield protection at the cost of increased weight. It is not the ideal equipment for every situation, but in many cases, the extra survivability could be the difference between life and death. Laboratory tests on captured alien plasma weapons have confirmed that traditional body armor is essentially worthless against energy projectiles, having been designed to resist uh, ballistic impact rather than heat damage. However, testing a modified combat vest with heat resistant rather than impact resistant ceramic plates showed impressive results. The ceramics weren't able to dissipate enough of the heat to give the wearer a reasonable chance of survival, though they are still likely to suffer injuries in the process. We're able, yeah. While it provides an obvious boost to survivability, this armor is heavy and will limit the other equipment, such as ammunition or secondary weapons. Soldiers can carry into battle. Armor also degrades rapidly under fire and will not withstand repeated hits, nor provide the wearer guaranteed protection. Example, it hardly matters what armor soldier is wearing if he is shot in the face. Nevertheless, it is still better than nothing can be constructed in the workshop. Finally, armor. I wasn't researching anything again. <sighs> I'm an 
idiot. Metal storm ballistic weapons. Yeah, I'll get those. Okay, and... We need the plasma cells. Galenium weapons. Vibranium. UFO power source salvage. Vibranium could be fun, but I think I'll go for Elenium weapons. Okay, yes, I know. Moving uh, on from our great six on our success with Elenium explosives, we have worked to miniaturize the process in order to produce explosive Elenium ammunition. We have had greater success than ev we ever su expected, and the work ha has been completed in record time. The only issue is that the weapon barrels need to be hardened to work with this new ammunition. This is not a problem now. We understand how to shape alien alloys. The result, we have a new set of weapons that are lighter, more resilient to wear, require less maintenance, and have greater range and firepower. Nice. You hope you're pleased with the new offering, Commander. It seems that your troops are, as we are now missing all of it seems that your troops are, as we are now missing all of our prototypes. As there is a high cost in producing these weapons, we thought it best that you have control of the creation process, and therefore we have instructed the engineers to only produce weapons in quantities dictated by you. Okay. Uh, Lenium precision... Alter pistols? Lenium rifle magazine, Lenium shotgun... Precision, Elenium precision rifle, Ashley. Let's see. Let's look where all of these are. They be here? I don't really see anything that looks different. Oh, Elenium precision rifle. 60 damage, 32 range. Sixty thirty two advanced. Sixty thirty two. Yeah, these are definitely better. I think they have higher weight, but still. I'm gonna wait and see what I'm gonna do use for rifles. Ah, Elenium Alternate Pistols. We have produced a set of alternative uh, pistols that can now fire depleted Elenium ammunition. They are generally lighter, more resilient to wear, require less maintenance, and have greater range and firepower. We hope you are pleased with the new offering, Commander. As there is a high cost in producing these weapons, we thought it best that you have control of the creation process, and therefore we have instructed the engineers to only produce weapons in the quantities dictated by you. Okay. Elenium Alternate Shotguns, might as well go for that. Microlinium pistol, high powered alenium pistol, automatic alenium pistol, fully automatic alenium pistol. Ballistic. Pistol. Oh, I know how to tell them apart. Yes, here we go. They have the round. Micro, I won't be taking that. Alenium pistol. 60 damage, 12 range. Where was the one I was using? It's way up. Uh, there we go. 60 damage, 12 range. Less range, more damage. And for 100% accuracy, you need 63. While these... 40 for 80. High-powered Alenium pistol. 63 damage, 11 range. 63 and 11. Magazine size 15. Magazine size 8. Yeah, high power pistols are better. What about this one? The automatic Lenium pistol, that could be nice. And fully automatic Lenium pistol. 57 damage, 11 range. Let's see, 57 damage, 11 range. Yeah, that might be better. A manufacturing, yes. Okay, good. And researching, yes.
making sure because they seem really bad. Alenium alternate shotguns. It produces a set of alternative shotguns that can now fire depleted alenium ammunition. Nice. They're generally lighter and more resilient to wear, require less maintenance, and have far greater range and firepower. We hope you're pleased with the new offering, Commander. As there is a high cost of producing these weapons, we thought it best that you have control of the creation process, and therefore we have instructed the engineers to only produce weapons in quantities dictated by you. Uh, look at those shotguns later. Oh, I almost forgot research. Alenium grenade launchers. Yeah. Just to finish all of the, all the alenium weapons. Produce a set of blah blah blah. It's the same thing over again. Just with the grenade launchers. What should I get in inter alien interrogation? Advanced pistol tech? Yeah, let's go for that. Go to base. Manufacture. Soldiers' weapon, what was that? The SRS 99 sniper rifle. Ammo for uh, I need to equip that on someone and find out. Advanced. Show me the sniper rifle. Precision rifle magazine, that's it? That's already what I have on them. Nice. You take that. And where's my other sniper? Ooh, that really hurts their carry weight. Yeah, take that off. Ooh, ouch. Uh, grenades. There we go. Set equipment as default. What about you? Nope. Okay. Need more medkit packs, but I should be fine. Okay, so I have plenty of ammo for that. What should I manufacture? Armor. Well, why would I even think that? I need. Eight. Soldier, armor, and shields. There we go. Advanced pistol. Ah, right, here we go. Light assault SMG. Fire rate, uh, let's see. Fire rate burst, fire rate four bullets. Much damage. Attrition none. Uh, burst fire is 23 AP, accuracy 20%, 4 bullets, 16 bullets per turn with full auto fire. Pistol ammo caliber 0.45, 20 nominal damage, 10 stun. Suited for urban close quarter combat, can be used with shields, highly effective against low armored units, quick reload uh, system, high ammo consumption. Building an arsenal. The submachine gun EF uh, Z701 enforcers are first step toward building an arsenal effective against effective enough to repel the alien invasion. The enforcer is humanity's first weapon designed specifically according to the newly obtained data, and not just the old second-hand research we had from the Icelandic incident. Although I will be earnest, Commander, we are still in a stage where producing effective weapons based on alien technology is far beyond our means. The enforcer is more of an adaptation of our regular firearms than an invasion than an invention of its own. But it is an ad adaptation driven by adaption. Adaptation, yeah, driven by the knowledge of what makes our enemies bleed, or at least uh, the presumed knowledge. The logic behind our reasoning was that the aliens are equipped with weapons which were originally designed to kill their own kind. That does seem to be the case in our simulations using alien corpses. Sadly enough, human flesh seems to be sadly enough, human flesh seems to be equally affected. Therefore, in order to penetrate uh, their defenses, we must imitate the char characteristics, if not the if not the technology, of their weaponry. The main frame of the enforcers, the Heckler, and Cock. Koch M5. We have, however, adjusted the barrel and equipped the magazine with explosive .45 rounds. Ooh, nice explosive rounds. 
Uh, this produces a hail of bullets which explode on impact, effectively copying the effect of a single low-energy plasma beam. Commander, I do not even want to concern my mind with what should be the work of petty clerks, but it does seem a good idea to start producing the enforcer on a mass scale and selling it back to our funding partners. An anti-alien weapon certified by the team should make a nice profit. It's pitiful enough that we have to work on a limited budget. Let's try to squeeze out extra funds by whatever means possible. Okay. Isn't there an advanced rifle? Yeah. MKCP. Whatever. Heavy pistol attack. Commence project. <sighs> I need money though. Hire fire. I need more engineers. That's what I need. Hmm. Uh, where was that? Oh, it doesn't take cost that much. I wonder how much they sell for. I need to make a bunch since I'm about to run out of money. it on. Okay. Center. Ooh. Intercept. 52 and uh, F-15. My MIG can take it out with its tail into overland. There goes my amazing aircraft. <sighs> Engage. You know what? I should have gotten this guy to go for uh, this one. What was I thinking? Target there. <sighs> what a way to end it, and we're pretty much out of time. How much are those selling for, though? I should have made some. No, no. No, no, scout data core light. Oh well, equip people. Uh, my shields first. Thank you. Oh wait. Equip default equipment. You're heavy. Yeah, you should be good, sort of. I still want you on this mission. Uh, shield. Should probably actually add you to it. Okay, you get the jackal armor. One less. Still works. And that armor looks pretty nice. Intercept, Charlie 1, launch. Ah. 
engage. But let's see, is it gonna load? Yeah. We're out of time, so I'm actually gonna end the episode here. When you come back, we'll be in the mission and we'll start it off. So if you like, then subscribe. If you don't, don't, but hope to see you next episode. Take care.